Good day folks and welcome back to Ed's Garage at Merton Hyundai. So today I want to do something a little bit different. I've already done a video on the Palisade as far as all of the, the, uh, the features and everything like that and you know how it all looks and stuff on the inside, the 2023. I've also done a full video on the infotainment system kind of detailing all of the options and features just in the infotainment system. This video is just about the ridiculous features on the Palisade calligraphy. There's a lot and I want to highlight them because, you know, it's just that cool. So let's get on with it and uh, we'll start at the front, go to the back, get inside the vehicle and kind of show you everything about it. All right. All right. Starting with the front, check this out. This little window right here is an example of one of those ridiculous features. Now, it doesn't need to be there. It doesn't really add anything to the vehicle except for maybe a little bit of, you know, subjective styling. But yeah, kind of ridiculous. Everything else in the front, pretty normal. Having a look around the side, again, everything pretty normal here. Pretty normal back here. And now we come to the back of the vehicle. Now there's a feature back here that uh, it's not really ridiculous if you're very, very familiar with Hyundai vehicles. However, it's pretty cool anyway, so I'll demonstrate it. And that is the smart lift gate. So if I'm standing here, not moving, just standing here, waiting a few seconds, and the tailgate opens up. So nice, cool feature. Um, not every company does that. Some of them, you know, you have to do a little dance with your foot in order to make the trunk go open up. Uh, with ours, you just kind of stand there for a few seconds and it pops open. I'm gonna come around to this side to do this one, actually. So this feature is pretty cool. So first off, I'm gonna remote start the vehicle. Now that's, that's you know, nothing special. A lot of car companies have remote start on their vehicles. Nothing too special. but. This one's kind of cool, check this out. If I hold this button on the remote, the car moves. So that's called remote, or smart park, sorry. How cool is that? So that is one of those <laughs> kind of ridiculous features uh, that you won't really see on any other brand other than uh, you know maybe uh, Kia and Genesis. Now, of course, I can make it go backwards as well. I do need to be standing within range. If you get too far away, it won't do it. All right, so here we go. So now it should go backwards. It takes a second because it's kind of assessing the surrounding area first before it moves. So there it goes. How cool is that? So that's uh, Hyundai Smart Park. All right, let's, uh, let's go back to the back here and see what kind of ridiculous features we have in the trunk area. I'm going to go ahead and open this up using the key fob this time. So check this out. Power folding seats, but they actually recline a little bit. I don't know if you noticed that. I'm gonna go ahead and put them down. There goes the headrest. Put them back up. Now, if you're sitting in the third row and you need a little bit of extra headroom, you want a little bit extra space, you can actually recline the seats a little bit further. There we go, so they've just reclined. Now, you don't have to do that with those buttons. You can actually do that from the buttons right here. You can adjust the actual seat. I'll show you here as I'm holding it. There it goes. More backwards. Pretty cool. Kind of ridiculous. Not really. It's actually kind of cool. Now, you can also hit these two buttons here, which fold down the second row as well. So there goes the second row. The other one's already going down a little bit there. So yeah, all the buttons there. It's uh, not totally unusual, but kind of a nice feature. Uh, let's see what we got under the floor here. How about this? So you can actually store the privacy cover under the floor here. Now, again, other companies have done that as well. Um, Hyundai does it really nice. It actually locks it in completely so it's not moving around. That's pretty cool. And this is a little known one. This hook right here, if you have the seat backs up and this wants to fall, you can just hook this onto the little bar for the headrest. <laughs> that's what that's for. Very neat. How about this cool little idea? When you're not using these seats, you don't need the seat belts. Look at that. Nice little place to hide the seat belt. All right, here's a cool one. So in the rear doors, if you've got kids back here and you want to put one of those sunscreens on, you don't actually have to do that because it's actually got a retractable sunscreen. Awesome. Now, one of the things I really like about Hyundai is how they're always looking at ways to improve simple things. So for example, 
In order to get into the back seat on this vehicle, you press this little button here and the seat moves forward, gets out of the way. That's pretty standard, nothing unusual there. But what if you've got a toddler that can't reach that button? Well, it's a simple matter putting another button down here that does the exact same thing. So now a toddler can reach it and get into the back easily. Smart. Also in the back here, you'll notice that both of these seats actually have little pockets for cell phones. So not only do you have a USB, a, uh, sorry, USB-C port on both of these seats for charging phones and whatnot, you've also got a place to put your phone while it's charging. Also back here, of course, you got your 120 power volt, uh, 120 volt power outlet, uh, and check this out, automatic climate control with heated and ventilated seats in the second row. Absolutely ridiculous, but we love it, right? For example, in the back seat for a feature that nobody realized we needed until you know we had it. Um, so you got your vents back here, um, surrounded by this beautiful, uh, nice sort of velvety soft suede headliner. But check this out, you've got two types of vents. So you have sort of direct air blasting on you through the vent, or you have diffused air. So you don't actually have to have the air blasting right on you. That kind of diffuses it and makes it a little bit less annoying. I also really like what they did with these armrests. Check this out. So the armrest goes all the way down to here first, and then it actually ratchets up to whatever position you want to put it in. So not only can you recline these seats quite far actually, but you can ratchet this handle so that it's always straight even if the seat is reclined. Very, very smart engineering. Really, really love these seats. Very comfortable back here as well. Before we go into the front seat, I wanted to show you some stuff under the hood real quick. So nice, easy to open hood. It's got the struts to hold it up, which is nice. Uh, but check this out. Another example of Hyundai's engineering at its finest. If you want to replace the engine air filter, there it is, done. The fastest time so far, held by yours truly, is less than three seconds to take this out and put one back in. Very, very easy to do, very convenient, ridiculously efficient. All right, now on to the front seat. So as you can see, beautiful interior. This is super luxurious. Now I'm gonna show you some new features on the front seat for 2023 uh, that are pretty awesome. So you've got a massaging seat here, guys. So this, this button right here, sorry, this one will actually um, go through multiple types of massage. So you can have it just doing the base of the seat or doing the just the back of the seat or both. Now that's the massage seat, but this is also pretty cool. So this button right here actually increases and decreases how much these bolsters hug you. So when you're sitting in the seat, you're going around corners, uh, you can actually increase and decrease the bolster level. So yeah, when you're going around tight corners, these will actually hold you. Now, this isn't a sports car, of course, but that's kind of a cool little feature. The other thing with this seat is that this actually will extend with this button right here. Check this out. So that pulls that out. So it makes the seat a bit longer. Kind of a cool feature. Um, not found on too many vehicles, unless they're kind of a luxury vehicle. So yeah, pretty awesome. All right, so jumping inside this beautiful Palisade, look at this interior, guys. How gorgeous is this? So we got some really nice wood finish along the sides here. I love the two-tone steering wheel. It's soft, it's supple, it's heated as well, the whole thing. Not that we really need that today. Um, now, first thing new, of course, is the tow mode. So there's now a tow haul mode. And you can see it actually changes the instrument cluster, which is nice. Uh, by the way, that would be the next cool feature. So when we change the instrument cluster, it actually gives us different views. Check that out. How cool is that? Now, another cool feature with the instrument cluster, when I put the turn signal on, it shows me a view down the side of the vehicle. Awesome. Of course, we're talking about mainly the ridiculous features, but uh, I want to point out it does have lane keep assist at any speed. So not just over 60 kilometers an hour, uh, but any speed. So that's kind of neat. Uh, another cool one, when you put on the rear, or, or sorry, when you put on the windshield washer, it actually puts on the recirculate, as you can see right there, the lights on for recirculate, so you don't have to smell the washer fluid. How's that for an interesting feature? Uh, also here you can see we've got multi-level uh, automatic climate control system, so when you press that button, it reduces or increases the intens intensity of the automatic climate control system. Another new ridiculous feature of this vehicle. So this is the rear view uh, mirror. Now this is of course an auto dimming mirror. It's got the little switch on the bottom here, which I'll show you in just a second. You got the home link buttons. 
Uh, you've got these buttons here which actually do something else and that is control the reverse camera. Now this of course is not just the regular backup camera, this is the rear view camera. So that's a screen, that's right. So no longer do you have to rely on silly mirrors, you've actually got a screen up here. You can see it's got camera mode listed right there. Now that's what these buttons are for. Essentially you can go through and change like brightness and contrast and stuff like that. So pretty cool, ridiculously new cool feature. All right, now I wanna highlight this screen here. This is now a 12 inch screen. This was a 10 inch in the previous, the outgoing year uh, model. Now a 12 inch screen. It's, uh, it's actually non-polarized so you can see it with uh, polarized sunglasses on and it absolutely looks fantastic. It's good high resolution. But check this out, if I put the car in reverse, you can see we've got a typical nice backup camera system with dynamic steering lines. But check out this ridiculously cool feature a three-dimensional representation of your vehicle that you can move around and look at. And this is all happening in live. This is a streaming feed from the camera. And if I actually move the steering wheel, check this out, even the, steer, even the wheels move. Now, a lot of companies, well, not a lot of companies, a couple companies have this, this sort of 3D feature. Um, but I think we might be the first one that have it in such a way that when you move the vehicle, check this out, Obviously, you know, you saw the steering, but look at this. If I start to move, the wheels turn. <laughs> How awesome is that? Now, in the reversing camera here, you can see just how clear this screen is. Look at that. It's, it's a really nice high-resolution screen. It looks phenomenal. All right, so no luxury SUV would be complete without its, you know, full-on safety features and technology. Well, Hyundai's taken it to an entirely new level with the Palisade. Um, check this out. So right now we're in park, okay? I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to move the steering wheel out of the way so you can see everything here. I'm going to go ahead and put it into drive. And you can see that we are in drive indeed right there. I'm going to move forward a little bit. Now, don't mind that uh, flickering on the screen there, guys. It doesn't actually do that in real life. Uh, okay, so now we're in drive. I'm going to come to a stop and I'm not going to take the car out of drive. I'm just going to leave it in drive. I'm going to take my seatbelt off and you'll see here it's still in drive. Okay, and now I'm going to open up the driver's door and to see what happened there, it switched to park automatically. My feet are no longer on the brake. The car is not moving. So because we have a shift by wire transmission, it can automatically put us into park even if we forget. Pretty cool. Now it does that when you shut the car off as well. It quickly puts it into park. Now on top of that, so these, these buttons are ridiculously awesome, but because you don't have shift linkage, you've also got all this storage underneath here now as well. And it's got a 12 volt port right there and a USB port down on this side here as well for the passenger. There are seven USB ports in this vehicle. Check it out. There's another one there for the Apple CarPlay Android Auto right above the wireless charger. Seven USB ports, and as far as cup holders, it's kind of ridiculous. There's 14 cup holders in this vehicle. Unbelievable. All right, so another cool thing about this vehicle is, uh, keeping on with the safety aspect, check this out. Every single seat for passengers is listed right here. So you got the second row and the third row, and what's cool about this is it'll actually tell you if any of these people don't have their seatbelt on. Sorry, this is the front passenger, and then, of course, we have the... Uh, I'm not sure exactly which is which, but basically if any of these lights on, then you know that somebody doesn't have their seatbelt on. If you don't have your seatbelt on, and then it comes up in this screen here saying, put your seatbelt on, please. Uh, as a matter of fact, it doesn't even like going into drive if you don't have your seatbelt on. It immediately kind of warns you, um, if you haven't already been in drive, I should point that out, it immediately warns you and puts it back into park again. So you kind of have to put your seatbelt on and move this vehicle. So good safety technology there. All right, let's look at the next ridiculous feature got to be the head-up display. Now you can see right there is the head-up display. Now it's kind of flashing on and off because quite frankly it's uh, again it's another LED screen bouncing off the windshield so it's really hard to kind of demonstrate this but there it is you can see the zero kilometers an hour and the uh, uh, right next to it is the speed limit normally. Now keep in mind this looks a lot better in person. It's high resolution, it's very clear and it's a lot bigger than it looks on camera, but the cool thing is just the amount of stuff that you can have showing up on that head-up display. So check this out. If I go into content selection, 
these are all the things that you can see there. So turn by turn directions, driving convenience info. So that's, um, you know, like uh, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise, that sort of thing. Um, you got your blind spot safety information as well. So if there's a car in your blind spot, it'll tell you, kind of puts it up like up here. This is kind of what it looks like when you're in the, in the driver's seat. And then radio media info. So when the, cha the song changes, it'll actually tell you uh, what song is on the radio as well as uh, what station you're on. So pretty cool. So those are all the different things you can see in the head-up display. One thing I forgot to mention was in the back of the vehicle, you can see right up on the ceiling there, that is actually an ultrasonic sensor. So we were talking about uh, the safety settings or safety systems in this vehicle. And what that is, is basically if there's anybody inside the vehicle when it's been shut off and locked, that ultrasonic sensor is going to pick those people up and it's going to send a notification to your cell phone warning you that, hey, you left your dog in the car or, hey, you left your child in the car. It's also going to set off the alarm as well to draw people's attention to the fact that there is potentially a serious emergency situation in the vehicle. So if you don't want to have that happen, you know, let them have the keys so they can unlock the doors and get out on their own. If they're a dog, obviously that's not going to happen. Uh, but yeah, you shouldn't, uh, shouldn't leave people or dogs in the car, especially in hot weather. All right, I'm not sure how well you can hear me from where I'm sitting now, but I'm going to show you the next cool feature. And it's called passenger talk. So you can probably hear me a little bit better now. And the reason for that is because it's actually taking my voice, pulling it into this microphone up here and playing it out of the speakers back there. That's called passenger talk. So now I don't have to yell at the passengers, especially the ones all the way in the third row. How cool is that? Now passenger talk is pretty cool when you've got kids, but another cool one when you have kids is quiet mode. So quiet mode allows you to basically limit the front speakers to 25, but also shuts off all the rear speakers. So if you've got kids talking, or sorry, sleeping in the back, um, they'll be able to do so much easier when you've got quiet mode turned on. Next ridiculously cool feature has got to be the HD radio data. Check this out. I can check current traffic in the area. I can check the Doppler radar in the area normally. Uh, right now there's no data, but that's okay. I can go to fuel prices and see where the best fuel prices are in my area as well. Another cool option uh, on this wonderful Palisade. A really cool neat feature that hides in the setup is under display we can go to blue light filter, check this out. So I can actually have a blue light filter dimming all of the blue light from this screen and that screen at night. Now you can actually put it on a specific time or you can just have it automatically come on when it gets dark outside. So yeah, protect your eyes from strain simply by enabling the blue light filter. Now another thing in the vehicle settings, under seat, you can see we have ergo motion activity notification. So it provides information and seat images regarding the ergo motion session in progress. What that essentially means is that if you've been driving for a while and you haven't done it yourself, this vehicle can automatically help to assist in your posture uh, by turning on some of the um, some of the, the, the seat functionality. So that's the um, the massage settings in the seat. So check this out. If I go to comfortable stretch and strong, um, I can actually adjust how often it does it. So here's our operational time and whether it's strong or normal. So it's basically going to enable the, uh, the seat massage system automatically based on how long you're driving. You've also got lumbar stabilization while driving. So every 60 minutes, lumbar stabilization system decreases pressure on the lumbar spine and alleviate back discomfort while driving. How cool is that? All of this is automatic, guys. You don't even have to think about it. It just takes care of you while you're driving. Super cool. Another neat one in here is the ambient light. You have 64 different levels uh, of, or sorry, 64 different colors that you can choose from for the ambient lighting system. Now, if you haven't already seen my video on the ambient lighting, please check that out in the description below. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. I just wanted to cover some of the more ridiculously feature, uh, ridiculous features of the vehicle, and I think I've got all of the crazy ones, um, but this vehicle has so much more. Like, you have no idea. If you haven't actually seen my video on the full feature set, please check that out in the description below. But I just wanted to do this one to kind of highlight some of those neater ones that you don't see too often in other vehicles, or don't see at all for that matter. Again, thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate all the support you've given me. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And if you know of any feature that I missed, 
I'm looking at the dashboard thinking of anyone that thinks any of the ones that I might have missed. But if you if you think I've missed one, uh, that's ridiculous. By all means, comment below, uh, and I will thank you for your comment and assisting my viewers in finding more ridiculous features in the Palisade. Again, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.